I do consider myself a fine connoisseur of conspiracy theories as Jimmy Kimmel and Aaron Rodgers go head to head. As the supposed list of those who traveled to Little St. James Island has been released, I think it was released as late as, as tonight or early as this morning as you are watching this video, and I say to myself, is any of this real? Who knows? The names we probably expected on there were already going to be there. Did we get the entire list? I don't know. But there appears to be a feud going on between Aaron Rodgers and Jimmy Kimmel. And it is delectable. Oh, how I love it. It is so tasty. We got a lot of tape to go through, people. So let's get to it. We're going to discuss how Aaron Rodgers... I, I don't know what side of the... I don't really care what side of the fence he's on. He can do whatever he wants. But he's slinging accusations around the man might get himself into big trouble we'll see let's take a look why is Aaron Rodgers beefing with Jimmy Kimmel over Jeffrey Epstein I don't know who knows it was on that plane maybe we were on that plane and we just didn't know because they're just commercial flights going there at this point it was everybody everybody was on that plane who knows I feel like they, <laughs> we've already got people like um, it's just out of control, and 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 this is all allegedly. I don't. There's a court case, Epstein Island. We all know about it. If you don't research it on your own, but it gets deep and it gets dark, people. But what's funny is that Aaron Rodgers was on the Pat McAfee show. Now, Pat McAfee, for those of you who don't know, is a former punter who has some show because he says crazy things or whatever but and he has Aaron Rodgers on there who says crazy things now <laughs> let's just hear what he had to say first of all they start talking what I don't understand is Aaron Rodgers is a multi 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 millionaire who's <laughs> He's sitting in a wine closet, about as good as my wine closet, which means he has a one rack of wine sitting behind him, and he can't afford a real microphone. Bro, you appear on the show like every single week. Every Tuesday, Aaron Rodgers shows up. The man's a multimillionaire. Bro, invest in some hardware. You could get a microphone. They're not that expensive. You can even get a big fat one like I have, which is super tasty. And they start talking about all sorts of stupid, the alphabet gangsters and things like that. But where it gets real spicy is where Aaron Rodgers, they're talking about the conspiracy as to the Super Bowl logo because it's all the colors, the colors indicate who's been picked to, to compete in the Super Bowl. And everybody knows that the NFL is about as real as the WWE. So. Well, let's take a look at what Aaron Rodgers has to say. Super Bowl 58. You'll see it. The emblem put on the screen. And then bring up 57 and 56. This has something to do with the Epstein list that came out? <laughs> Feels like <laughs> Feels That's like. supposed to be coming out soon. That's supposed to be coming out soon. Look, this guy's been it's waiting in his wine people. cellar. Yeah. I've been waiting in my wine <laughs> cellar for this guy. <laughs> a lot of people, including Jimmy Kimmel, are really hoping that doesn't ah, happen. Please. <laughs> All right. All right. Obviously, a clip from this particular program was run on Jimmy Kimmel's show uh, whenever Aaron brought up the, the list and then Jimmy mocked him for it. Mm -hmm. Aaron has not forgotten about that, but here we are sitting right in front of that nice bottle of scotch. Mm -hmm. What do you say? I'm waiting to celebrate something. Oh, yeah. yeah something <laughs> He's awesome. been waiting That's for the that. one. <laughs> you been waiting for hey, I'll tell you what, if that list comes out, I definitely will be popping, popping some sort of bottle. Hey, because. So I don't know what in the world is going on there. I I think it's a joke. Not that Aaron Rodgers is some kind of comedian. And uh, Pat McAfee is definitely ducking and dodging and weaving. Uh, so uh, there's a list that's going to come out of over 170 associates. Do I think it's the real list? Nah, nah I think we're going to get who we think was already on there. People who've already been announced 
who are on there. People like um, uh, a bunch of famous actors and stuff. It, it, basically, the guy was like, here, you want to use... It's like a U-Haul for celebrities. You, you take them out and, you know, like Kevin Spacey, allegedly, and... Uh, uh, Chris uh, Tucker was on there. Like, why would they be on there other than it's like, you know, uh, there's an island with, with like extra special features. I don't know. Whatever, man. So anyway, I believe, so what Business Insider is saying is that this is a, a, a you know, Aaron Rodgers is taking a shot because Kimmel said this. <laughs> Needless to say, all this UFO talk has the tinfoil hatters going wild, including Green Bay Whack Packer Aaron Rodgers, who offered this hot take on the Pat McAfee show. I, I believe that this has been going on for a long time. Interesting uh, timing on everything. There's a lot of other things going on in the world. Did you hear about the Epstein client list uh, about to be released, too? What's that? What are you talking about? There's some files that have, have some names on it that might be uh, getting released pretty soon. Oh. Oh. <laughs> might be time to revisit that concussion protocol, Aaron. That's... Okay, so there's a lot going, lot to unpack here. Now, Kimmel can't be mad at Rogers because he called him a tinfoil whack packer. And for anyone who knows what a whack packer is, Jimmy Kimmel specifically referencing Howard Stern's group of um, miscreants of people who had, you know, between physical ailments and mental ailments and uh, damage from doing too much crack. They were Howard Stern's whack packers. So he's not only calling him a tinfoil hat conspiracy theorist, he's also calling him some sort of mentally deficient. So I feel like Aaron Rodgers is fully within his right to make some sort of joke back. At Jimmy Kimmel, not that Jimmy Kimmel is also a comedian. And, you know, you got to remember, Jimmy Kimmel is the same guy who's, you know, repeatedly done blackface, repeatedly done. Um, he was the host of The Man Show. So if you want to talk about misogyny, he would be king misogynist as he had girls jumping on trampolines. So I'm a little confused as to what the mainstream shill Jimmy Kimmel has to say about any of this. Again, I am by no means a Jets or Packers fan, and Aaron Rodgers is by no means a world scholar. But I think a lot of us have the same curiosity that he does. Why is it funny to him that 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 famous people would be on Jeffrey Epstein's list? Why he thinks that's a conspiracy that you know somebody like Bill Clinton was on it allegedly fifty times? Not so sure that that's a conspiracy theory anymore. Pretty sure that all the other things that were going on, like why Aaron, why, like why is Kimmel going so hard? He also made fun of him over his, you know, coof mandates, and I'm pretty sure that Aaron Rodgers was like, "Yo, I like to keep everything in my body, what I want to know what it is, and my doctor told me not to, and yada yada yada." And I'm pretty sure that most people are agreeing that a lot of what happened with all that was a little weird. Just saying. Just saying. And now Kimmel goes on on X, and he is livid. And I'm going to read you what he said verbatim. And again, you're, are you a comedian who can't take it? Or are you, like, it, I know Aaron Rodgers is not a comedian, but dear asshole... For the record, I have not met, flown with, visited, or had any contact whatsoever with Epstein, nor will you find my name on any list other than the clearly phony nonsense that soft-brained wackos like yourself can't, can't seem to distinguish from reality. Your reckless... Oh, it's going to take me somewhere else. Which I... It says something about, like, your reckless nonsense put my family in danger. Okay. Um... Do you think that maybe during the BLM riots that you being in blackface might have put your family in danger there, my friend? Or perhaps when you were a misogynist during the Me Too era that you didn't put your family in danger? No, it's when somebody says that you were on the island, allegedly, 
that you've been put in danger. That's when you've been put in danger. Little confused about what's going on here. Just saying that uh, if we're talking about soft-brained wackos, gonna say the shill Jimmy Kimmel is is more of a of a. Uh, just saying, just saying. But Pack McAfee has fully bent over and take it from the establishment media as he apologizes over his role in the Aaron Rodgers Kimmel Jimmy Kimmel feud did some large corporations contact you Pat McAfee and warn you that maybe you shouldn't be making fun of people who are on your same network oh wait Jimmy Kimmel's on ABC which is also part of ESPN which is also owned by what Disney or something like that is that what this all looks like yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. So Pat McAfee issued an apology. It's very sad. I didn't mean to do it. Some things, obviously, people get very pissed off about, especially when they're that serious allegations. So we're apologizing for being a part of it. I can't wait for what Aaron has to say about it. Hopefully those two will just be able to settle this, you know, not work-wise, but be able to chit-chat and move along. Yeah, don't sue me, brah. Don't sue me. That's what he's looking for is, is don't sue me. I had nothing to do with it. Your reckless words put my family in danger, Kimmel said. Keep it up and we'll debate the facts further in court. Oh, yeah, that's right. ESPN, ABC, and Disney are, are all owned by Disney. That's right. McAfee is uh, a co-worker with Kimmel. Oh, is that why he had to uh, talk about that? Yeah. So I'm going to wrap this up with one more comment that I found a little interesting that I dug up on the internet that you might find interesting. The internet. What a funny place. Um, I don't know who this guy is. <laughs> this is one of the, this is an amazing post fight interview because they're amazing. Joel Bowman, who will go huge. The, he's the hugest. I don't know what he's even talking about. He's hyping up his NFTs. I don't even know what NFTs he has to sell. I don't know why he's dressed in a gimp outfit. I cannot explain any of this to you folks. I can only show you the facts and you can discern for yourself. So all those doubting my NFT, you're looking at the guy. That's the reason that college athletes and high school athletes are getting paid today. Okay. Mr. Influencer to Influencers. Uh -huh. Secondly, Jimmy Kimmel, viral this. I fight to eradicate childhood malnutrition from the planet. And until they release the flight logs, you, the mainstream media, Hollywood, are all pedophiles to me. Eat dick. <laughs> uh, am I canceled yet? Dot com. <laughs> what is going on here? I don't know. Is that a real website? Am I canceled yet? Dot com? I don't know. Uh, yeah, whatever, man. You got it, bro. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what is going on here. Uh, he blamed a loss that he had previously, and I have no record of this on herpes and exhaustion from working on non fungible tokens project. The world's a crazy place, folks. You make of it what you think. They're going to free the flight logs. Are we going to get exactly what we wanted? I don't believe so. I think we're only going to get what was already in public information. But holy macaroni, I don't know what's going on here. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you team Aaron Rodgers or are you team Jimmy Kimmel? Let me know in the comments below. I read them all. <laughs> and... uh yeah, be sure to check out our audio podcast. It is on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, all those great places and more. It's free to you. But in the meantime, if you want to support the show, support what we're doing, like and subscribe. That helps. Makes a great deal. You can come uh, join us. We'll be live stream at 7.30 p.m. Friday nights. Come join the live stream. You can super chat with us. Come hang out. It's all good, baby. We've got a lot to say. A lot to entertain you with. You're going to like it. You need to be there. It's a good time had by all. In the meantime, you can also join us, but uh, I think I'm on to the next one.